teach you how to make a crown etching. So before we start our crown etching, we're going to need a few things. The first is a piece of paper. The second is a sharpened pencil and then a box of crowns. Now I went through this box and I picked out the lightest colors. And what we're gonna do is we're going to kind of block off our piece of paper and we're gonna color each one of these shapes one color. And so with this crown, I'm going to push down pretty darn hard. And so what you're gonna to wanna to do is hold it by the tip as close as you can so you don't break it. And I'm gonna go back and forth, kind of like an up and down motion. And I try to stay away from the corners because if you st start going really fast and you catch it, it's gonna bend the paper and you don't want that. And so I'm gonna go back and forth one way. And when I'm done, I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna go the other way to make sure that I get the piece of paper covered with the crown as much as I can. Now crowns are made out of wax and what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna protect the paper underneath it. For when I'm done and I get this whole thing colored and it's going to look something kind of like this where the whole thing is colored, I'm going to get my black crown and then I'm going to go on top of the color that I already laid and I'm going to have to press really hard. You probably actually have to push harder with the black than you do the regular crowns because you're going to want to cover it up completely until it's completely black like this. And the reason why we do this is so that when we take our sharpened pencil, we can scratch off the black crown and it reveals the blue crown that's underneath or whatever color you used. And now I can kind of go back and forth and I can make different patterns on my crown etching. And I can actually scratch out all of that black. This is kind of a checkered pattern, uh, an A, B, A, B, if you will. And I can do different patterns or I could draw a person, I could draw myself, I could write words. Kind of do whatever you want to do, but this is what a crown etching is, and you can make really about anything. Um, I did a little Google search for uh, these things called Zentangles, and it'll give you different kind of patterns that you can do with your crown etching. But um, kind of experiment, see what you can do. Remember, you got to push down really hard with the black in order for it to really give that pop, that contrast of like light and dark will really make your, um, your crown etching pop. Well, I hope you had fun making your crown etching. Now remember, this can be kind of messy, so you might want to have your parents be supervising you. If you need help, be sure to ask them and bring your crown etching to school the next time you come and show me what you made.